Hey, look, I got a new box from China. So uh, I want to do an unboxing here. So let's take a look, see what I got here. Um, as a lot of you may know, in the Hubson sitting over here is probably a hint to what's in the box. Um, I've been having some, or what I at least I think are some battery challenges with the Hubson. So I went off looking for batteries for the Hubson, and I came across this. And I just thought this was the coolest thing. Now I have links to this below. So what is it that I got for round? This was about 30 bucks, so I need to qualify that up front. So uh, I want to open this up. So obviously it's a case. We can uh, identify that real easy. And uh, it's a case for the Hubson. What it does is it comes with an with, uh, uh, extra set of props, uh, white and red props for it. And so, which I thought was really cool. There are screws in here, so that's even cooler. And then it also comes with two batteries. Um, now, I'm not sure. These, okay, so these are 610 milliamp batteries. Um, I'm not sure if these are stock hubs in or not. They have a sticker over them. Um, so I'm not sure. I don't think they're stock, but I think worthwhile giving a try. So, I get, for roughly 30 bucks, I got two new batteries which when I was looking the batteries were like I think around 10 12 bucks a piece so this would have been like 20 bucks plus the props were around uh, I think around 10 bucks a set which I thought were kind of expensive frankly because I've got uh, I've actually ordered another set on top of that and then the case so I really thought for the money that was really cool so you pull out this little guy and then what you do is uh, again we set the hubs in it now one of the interesting things is I have legs on my Hubson, so I've got these 3D printed legs. I might make a little bit shorter version, but one of the things that it looked like, and I wanted to check, was could I fit everything in here and close it with, with the legs? And it looks like I can. Now I'm going to make a little bit shorter version of the legs, because these are a little bit tall. And I can go a little bit shorter, and it appears to fit. As you see, I can uh, have the props on it. The props need to be spun in this direction. I only have two on because I broke the other ones when it fell out of the sky, right? And then it closes and uh, you know, I can show you it zips right up. So this is really great. So my idea is I can throw this in the trunk of my car, what have you, and then if I end up someplace and I want to go flying, I've got my uh, hubs in here. So, uh, and since it's got a USB charger, I can charge it from the USB port in my car to keep the batteries charged up, what have you. Um, well, there's a little bit of netting in here. You have to be careful to, without the prop, I get a little bit caught on. Now, the other cool piece is this. Um, because it will work with the E and the S series. So you take out this big piece for the... Uh, I think it's the S series and you take out this piece for the E series so let me get the controller and here we go I've got the controller in here now I've got the modified uh, range modified antenna on here and all, all I have to do is take it off and it fits in here nicely um, and even with this little nubbin there's enough room to push against the foam now if you have the uh, S series with the FPV uh, you just simply take out this larger one and again with this antenna I can just set it in there and then uh, I've got places, if you saw here, I can put batteries, I can put a charger, I can carry my extra props and screwdriver in here. Um, and again, I can just cover up the case and, and throw in the back of my car. And if it stops catching on the uh, vinyl because I don't have props on it, it, it'd be even better. And again, I think you can also go this way with the batteries. So this also works. Um... So again, a lot of different options to carry it. So, you know, a lot of times I joke, um, you know, this is the poor man's Mavic, and, and it, it, you know, but this is a great little copter for a hundred bucks. I tell you what, and that's w the reason I bought it, is I want to be able to throw this in the back of my trunk and things like that and just have it available when I want to use it. Um, you know, because it's kind of like the old adage with a camera, you know, the, the best camera is the camera that you use. And that's, I think, really the case with this, is I'm not going to be afraid if somebody steals a $100 drone out of my trunk or something like that, or if I lose it, you know, where a $1,000 Mavic I am. Now, I'm not, don't get me wrong, I'm not picking on the Mavic. I love the Mavic, and actually I have it on my buy list, um, but I'm not going to leave that one in my trunk. I'm cluey on that one, so... 
you know, don't write me hate mail that I'm picking on the Mavic because I'm not. So anyways, I thought I'd share this with you guys because I am really excited about this uh, find here. So as soon as it warms up outside, I'm going to give these batteries a go and see if this solves some of my problems with the battery. I'm going to compare these versus the stock LiPo that came with it. And uh, hey, hopefully you found this interesting. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Again, the link for this will be down below. Subscribe button coming up over there. As always, questions hit me up in the comments. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.